dear uh, viewers from all over the world, assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Orsi Azizi calling from uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Today I have uh, a very special guest uh, talking to me. Uh, he is Mr. Hassan Herani. Uh, Mr. Herani is a, a very famous uh, personality in Albania, but also in uh, Iran. Uh, he has been a member of the Mujahideens or the Mujahideen al hal the terrorist organization which uh, Albania uh, uh, hosts since uh, 2016. And uh, uh, Hassan, uh, who have been one of the uh, officials of MEC, decided uh, like six years ago to abandon the organization and uh, to go to the world and to explain to the international community uh, what is going on inside the Mujahideen camp in, uh, uh, in Albania. Uh, because Hassan uh, uh, defected from uh, the cult of uh, Rajavi, he is one of the major enemies of the Mujahideen in Albania. For people who follow Mujahideen publications, they <coughs> will notice how Mac attacks Hassan. They call him an Iranian agent, a person who works with Iranian Ministry of, uh, of Information, MOIS, I, I don't know the exact term of it, and so many other slanders. Now, uh, Hassan is a dangerous person. <clears throat> the reason why Hassan is dangerous is because Hassan has been one of the first people who have defected from Met in Albania. Um, after his defection, there were many other Mujahideens who uh, abandoned the cult of uh, Mariam Rajavi and uh, who choose to live in freedom. Hassan has been interviewed by the BBC, <coughs> by Al Jazeera, by uh, The Guardian, The Independent, TRT World and many other Western uh, uh, medias. Hassan has also been interviewed by The Intercept. The testimonies that Hassan <clears throat> has given to the world about what Mac does uh, for inside its camp, the, the troll factory that Mac has in order to incite popular unrest in, inside Iran, uh, have been uh, instrumental on uh, showing to the international community the weird nature of the Mujahideen cult. Now, uh, people like Hassan, <coughs> there are a number of people like Hassan in Tirana, Albania, people who have defected MEC and who are giving their testimonies to the international community about the criminal nature of the Mujahideen cult. The testimonies of Hassan are very important because Hassan has shown to the international community to human rights activists, the huge terrorist and criminal network that Albania hosts and the criminal activity of the Mujahideens. But because Hassan has been interviewed by so many medias, uh, he has become a major headache, not only for the Mujahideens, but even for the Albanian government. Uh, uh, in the year 2022, the Albanian government of Edi Rama, for some reason, had deci have decided to remove its mask and to openly ally itself with uh, Mariam Rajavi and the Mujahideen Co. In uh, 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 July 2022, when I was uh, in Tirana, Albania, I witnessed how uh, used the counter-terrorism police and the uh, SPAC, the Special Prosecutor Office of uh, Albania, to raid the houses 
of Mr. Hassan and a number of other Iranians who live in freedom in Albania and have decided to abandon the Mujahideen army in order to uh, uh, incriminate, arrest and jail these defectors. Nevertheless, during the arrest, during the uh, house searches that were made to Hassan and uh, 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 to his friends in July, Albanian police uh, couldn't find anything illegal. So Hassan was free. Nevertheless, what happened is that uh, in uh, uh, September, or uh, I'm not sure about the date, Hassan is going to tell. I think at the beginning of uh, November, on 8 November, if I'm not wrong, but Hassan is going to correct me. Uh, Hassan and a number of his friends, they were uh, illegally taken from their homes, from uh, immigration police in Albania. And since November 8, now we are on December 8. And are in administrative detention. They have put in a, a, a detention camp known as the camp of carrots and they are being held there without having the right to go to court to challenge the Albanian law and to seek justice for themselves. So Mr. Hassan, welcome to my show. Can you please uh, uh, introduce yourself to the public? Who are you? Yes, hello, Dr. Rossi. I hope to see you again. Um, and <clears throat> thanks and hello to all the uh, person who uh, look this tape. Um, near, hello, can you hear me? Okay. Um, yeah. More than uh, 40 days ago, uh, we informed by the <clears throat> president of the Asylum Association, um, the law project, the immigration office told us uh, five persons should come in the law project for something. And when we had gone there, they take a finger touch of us and photo. And we thought with our service, uh, maybe for the ID card, they announced us, uh, call us. After that, the police come. The, the police, as same as uh, uh, six months ago, uh, from the SPEC, come and uh, check all of our uh, uh, homes and my office or even my bed about the terrorists and something uh, under effect the propaganda of the MIG. Uh, that police was there and bring us here. And they told us on the base of the Sigurimi Estate, Secret Service of Albania, you should go to the carriage. We asked for that, but they told us tomorrow we explained for you. Okay, we came here and the next day, some officer of the like uh, six months ago, they were that officer six months ago came from the spot and as uh, and uh, persecutor they asked me at the first the officer start with me oh hassan how are you what about the protests in iran i told him okay in iran maybe some protests and what is your business no and just i asked him for that way i am here he told me no you had a bad activity in our country and the time is over for you. You should go for this country and we expel you. I think for that way, four years, I paid task and seguration, insurance to your country for that way. No, you had an interview with the BBC and some media and we don't like and something. Uh, I told him, what uh, do you excuse think? Me, uh, excuse me, who told you that... Uh... Uh, we want you out of the I country. I don't know exactly because... his name, but his officer is a very big man without any hair in his head. Uh, but very, you know, he was very sensitive uh, about the Mujahideen and support Mujahideen. Uh, I told them, don't uh, allow to Mujahideen effect on you, because you know Mujahideen, uh, the situation between Iran and Albania get destroyed and ambassador of Iran is closed. Albania government is a small government under the effect of the hegemony of the America. And this condition is a very, very, very nice opportunity for the Mujahideen to abuse from this opportunity. 
and by the hegemony of this, uh, America ambassador and SPAC and the corruption part of the government, corruption part of the government, they want to destroy us, Mujahideen. Why? Because they cannot destroy Asila. Asila is company of the Albanian and Iranian, um, the, have a signature of the court, of Albanian court. We have a number NIPI, and they cannot do damage or destroy Asila. For that why... Excuse me, can you, um, can you explain to our viewers what is Asila? Uh, for your information, uh, more than five years ago, I uh, defected from the Mujahideen. After that, we were some person uh, <coughs> individually in the Albania. And after that, on the base of the suggestion, some old friends, Albanian friends, we uh, start for the register, the uh, association to support of Iranian. Asila is the short name of the association for the support of Iranian living in Albania, Asila. And more than one, uh, one year, half, uh, we start the Asila, and Asila support the Iranian about the something healthy, about the, uh, their, uh, their activity. And in the other hand, we expose the Mujahideen, we expose what happened in the months about the uh, violence against the human right in the months and um, Mujahideen about the brainwash in the months about the uh, bad activity of the Mujahideen in the Albanian to damage to the uh, benefit of the Albanian and a lot of uh, abusing of the Mujahideen in this country. For that why, in the other hand, we expose and, uh, you know, we print some book of the history of the members of the Asila and we have action in the uh, cities of the Albanian, and we have a good relationship with the Albanian people, and even governor, Albanian some deputy. And if you remember one time, we had gone together to the parliament uh, to meet with the deputy, Kuitim Juzi, and Mujahideen doesn't tolerate, because Asila, like a uh, help window for the members who are in the prison of the MIG. And the member of the MIG can find some information about the person who defected before from the MIG. And they show, they, they see, well, any person who come out from the MIG doesn't die. They can have a freedom and normal living in Albania, can work and have a, can, uh, married and live in Albania. For that why Mujahideen doesn't tolerate Asila, wants to destroy it directly, and this condition after closing the Iranian ambassador here is, is a good opportunity for the Mujahideen to keep all of the members in the uh, camp months by the helpless out of the camp. Mujahideen does not, is not anything to leave to support you for that why make have a this enemy behavior with us and okay, use uh, yes Hassan, let me just explain this thing to us <clears throat> for uh, you who uh, see this video throughout the world uh, let me make it simple what Hassan is telling to us Hassan and the number of his friends they have defected from the Mujahideen uh, terrorist uh, army, which is in Albania. And uh, <clears throat> since their defection, they created an NGO in Albania called Asila. This NGO was an NGO that was taking care about uh, Iranian defectors of jihad yeah. who live uh, in uh, Albania. And the creation of this NGO created too much nervosity in the mind of uh, Mujahideen commanders. Why? Because there are many people inside the Mujahideen camp, people like Hassan, who want to defect, who want to abandon uh, violent jihad, who do not want to be used as uh, slave soldiers, as uh, suicide bombers for Mujahideen. Uh, for people who know Mech, uh, if you are a MEC member, you are not allowed to marry, you are not allowed to have a family, you don't have free movement, 
you have to live in the paramilitary barracks of this uh, jihadi organization, which is in Albania. But what people like Hassan have done is that by escaping from this organization, by uh, 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 creating this NGO, Asila, they have provided a window of hope for many Iranians who want to live uh, a normal civilian life. And this is the reason why Hassan is a major headache and enemy for the Mujahideen. Hassan, yes. uh, you, men you mentioned that you had a, a prosecutor coming from SPAC who in a way uh, told you that you have to leave Albania because of your activity, because you have uh, spoken to BBC and Western medias and you have exposed uh, to the world what MEC is doing. Now, uh, yes. uh, as I mentioned before, the Albanian government with the pushing or maybe even with money and corruption from the Mujahideen has been trying to, in a way, uh, uh, incriminate you guys since many months, but they failed. Now, in, they have uh, illegally taken you from home and they have sent you in a, a detention center. Uh, can you tell me what do you feel now that you are in this detention center? Uh, it's not behind you. Uh, me and five person, another person, Mehdi Soleimani, Hassan Shahbaz, and Ghulam Reza Shekari, and Ali Hajari, and Ehsan Bibi, we are here. And honestly, we are afraid because we are in the camp carriage. The name just is a camp carriage. It's as same as the prison. Uh, um, more than 40 days, uh, can you believe we couldn't go out to uh, fresh air? Just we are in the room and one corridor, 10 meters. Um, we are honestly, we are afraid because we are here at the 11, uh, uh, at the night, at the 11 o'clock, all the door will be closed. But at the three menges, every week or two weeks, the group of police come and take one person and put in the car and directly so fast to go to the border of the grace and expel him to the um, grace land. And I, we don't know uh, because, you know, we are illegally are here and uh, even um, our family or lower or the Asila members, the president of the Asila, um, they refer to all the ministry but they didn't any answer us. And now we are afraid one night at the uh, two or three menges, they come as same as some guys before, uh, from when we came here, third person at the midnight, they put in the car and uh, put them in the grease. And we don't know, maybe one night they come by the force put us in the car and directly so fast during two hours go to the border of the Greece and illegally expel us in the uh, Greece because we are now we are illegally here. I told them if we have any problem, if we break any law of the Albania, okay, please come to go to the court in front of the judge. What is our problem? What law of the Albanian government we break? Nothing. Four years, I pay task, I pay insurance for that. Why I am here? Just be exposed about what happened in the months. If you don't like this, if you are with the mix and other things, I am not responsible about that because Albanian government is a small government and doesn't have a, enough experience, political experience. Mujahideen uh, make. Uh, abuse from this opportunity and by the black propaganda, Albanian government thinks they are alternative of the Iranian regime and they are talking with their future Iranian government. For that why they are abused from this opportunity in this country, a small country. I hope the Albanian government understand what will be happen. Uh, thank you, Hassan. Uh, 
it's uh, very uh, sad to see you and your friends being kept in this uh, situation that you are and being uh, locked inside. Now, the Mujahideen, they have been attacking you and your friends uh, since a long time uh, because in a way you exposed to the world what Mac was doing. Uh, now, uh, can you tell us uh, uh, what do you think will happen with you? And how many and how many people are you now in this? Uh, now uh, we are six person. I told their name. Four person are married. And two persons wife, me and Mr. Ali Hajari, our wife is a pregnant. Uh, Mr. Ali Hajari next month will be father. And my wife uh, is a pregnant four months. And we are past a very hard time here. And it's a criminal. For that why we are here. Our wife, my wife need me. My wife is a pregnant. He need me should be beside her. For that why I am here without any explain. Um, I don't know, even in the dictatorship country, any person who go to the jail, the police, the government, persecutor should tell him for that why you are here. We are here without any explain. Just the time is over for you. Your time is over. You should go is over. What should we do? And nobody answer us. And it's a real criminal against the human rights. We, and for that why we are here, because the corruption part of the go government, they couldn't put us in the jail because by the signature of the uh, court and uh, judge, we should go to the jail. They put us here. Um, that doesn't answer to any person. But here is uh, just for the person who come inside Albania illegally. We we didn't came here, come here illegally to your country, to the Albania. We came by the airplane from the Baghdad to Istanbul, Istanbul here, by the lesser pass of the UNHCR. Now, even uh, until now, I uh, saved my the card of the UNHCR, uh, 11 years ago, uh, uh, registered me as an asylum seeker. After that, by the and UNHCR bought the ticket uh, for the airplane from the back that we came here. But now you put me here after uh, seven years, after never, near seven years, you put me here and tell me the time is over for you. You should go from, out from our country for that why. Hassan, uh, you and your friends, you are uh, stateless people. So you are uh, ex mujahideens people who lived in Iraq yes. for many years, and uh, you were brought to Albania by UNHCR. When Albania received you, it gave a promise to uh, the Americans and to the UNHCR that Albania is going to defend you. But now yeah. what is ha what is happening is that the Albanian government is breaking its international obligations. It's breaking its agreements with the UNHCR and it is jailing you. And moreover, yeah. Al Albanian officials, prosecutors, they want to expel you and send you back to Iran. But as far as I know, many of you cannot go back to Iran because your life is threatened. On the other hand, you do not want to become to remain as a slave soldiers for Mariam Rajabi. You have yes. decided to live a civilian life. You don't want yeah. to be you, you don't want to be slave soldiers. Yeah, I explain and, for you. And now what is so funny in all this is that <laughs> The yeah, U very the U big joke, very, very, very sad joke. Um, and uh, uh, le le let me just finish. The UNHCR, which brought you to Albania, is also responsible for your well-being. Now, yes. m my question to you is this. Has uh, the UNHCR contacted you? Because, I mean, the UN, which uh, evacuated you from Iraq at the first place and uh, found Albania as a state, which is going to host you. 
I think it has some responsibility because after all you are refugees. You are stateless people. You are you are people who you have no passport. There is no country they want to take you. After coming to Albania, you the Mujahideens, you uh, were divided into uh, I would say three major groups. One group which uh, 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 abandoned uh, Rajavi and denounced the Rajavi sect. Another group which abandoned Rajavi but didn't denounce uh, the Rajavi sect because they are afraid of Rajavi. And then uh, another group which still stays with uh, Mariam Rajavi because they are afraid of her. But I mean, this is normal in a democracy. I mean, there are some people who would like to stay with the Mujahideens. There are people who don't want to stay with the Mujahideens. Now, the, my, my question is this. Is the United Nations uh, Humanitarian Commission for Refugees, are they contacting you? Did they say anything to you? Yes. Um, for your information, um, near two months ago, when before we came here, uh, we had some information from the some guys who take a salary every month from the MIG. And the MIG told them you should leave the Albanian because we want to cut the salary. This salary was for the defector of the Mujahideen was on the base of the contract of the Albanian government and Mujahideen about the, all of the person who come from the era here, Mujahideen support them. They told us this uh, directly, Hassan, uh, we had gone to take a um, monthly salary monthly, and Abdullah, one of the members in the of, uh, office of the Mujahideen, told us that you should try to leave this country because this pressure was from the before, but recently uh, a lot pressure against all of the members. You should uh, leave Albanian. Here is not the place for you, you should go out because we want to cut the salary. We doesn't want any support here. It's for the member who take a salary from the Mujahid. We had this information. And in the other hand, the persecutor of the SPAC or Secretary of Albania here told me the time is over for you. I asked him for that way. He told me because we have a new contract with the MIG. Any person who comes out of the MIG, Albanian government doesn't recognize him as a refugee here and should leave this country. We accept Iranian Mujahideen as a group inside the mounds and not out of the mounds camp. Uh, it means Albanian government uh, is not support the democracy and freedom for the person, just support the head of the MIG, Rajavi, to keep the members as a slave inside the mom's camp. Just it. Okay. And it's a very shameful and very, very shameful for the democracy, for the Albanian, for the Euro. Albanian is the part of the Euro. In not the and not the Middle East. Mujahideen just trying to make a Saddamization, to make a Albanian like a Saddam Hussein time in Iraq. Just it. Okay, Hassan. Uh, I mean, we 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 know the story. We know that we have a corrupt government. Our Prime Minister Edi Rama has uh, sided with uh, Israel against Iran, against Islam against Palestinians. Our prime minister, he discriminates not only you Iranians in Albania, but even Albanian Muslims. We have, uh, I mean, <coughs> we have dozen of Albanian Muslims who are interrogated. Okay, but, okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Association anti-Israel, anti-America, anti- No, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. Just well, to support the Iranian who yeah, want to defect the pandemic. Oh, one second, one second. Uh, I'm I'm just explaining to our viewers that uh, our prime minister is uh, against Muslims in general, because even even you, I mean, uh, the members of uh, Asila, uh, because Mac told them that you are people of Iran, which you are not. Uh, our prime minister perceives you as uh, Iranian agents with whom he have to get rid of. 
Now, uh, there is a question. Uh, Albanian officials are saying that our government made an agreement with uh, with the Mujahideens, and since you guys you are not with the Mujahideens anymore, our government doesn't want you. Now, the question is this, and this more mostly directed to the UNHCR. Uh, when UN UNHCR brought you to Albania, uh, they uh, made an agreement with the Albanian state to offer you protection. Now, yes. uh, uh, now uh, our government, Albanian government, is not offering you protection, but not only this, our government is closing you in this concentration yeah. in this in this concentration camp in Karets. Now, yeah. I have a question for uh, those people who are going to uh, see this video to the United Nations and UNHCR. Albanian government has decided to side itself with uh, the cult of Mariam Rajavi in order to appease Israel. But there is a group of people like you guys who you don't want to fight. You don't want to become a slave soldier for Mariam Rajavi. Yes. Now the question is, United Nations Humanitarian Commission for Refugees should find another country for you. Uh, yes. Uh, our Prime Minister, uh, Edi Rama, uh, the uh, Interior Minister, uh, Blendi Chuchi, who, by the way, is the uh, husband of the third wife of uh, Prime Minister Edi Rama, they should make it clear to the Albanian public and to say that uh, we in Albania love only the Mujahideens who do terrorism against Iran. We do not want those Mujahideens who don't want to do terrorism. And they should say this to the UN United Nations. Um, our government should write to the United Nations and tell them that, look, there are some people like Hassan Herani and others who uh, they don't want to uh, serve as uh, terrorists and uh, suicide bombers for Mariam Rajavi. And we don't want these people. And the United Nations must find another country for you guys. Because after all, you are refugees, isn't it? Uh, doctor, you mentioned to the very, very important point. Albania is a good country, and we thankful for the Albanian and uh, nice people of the Albanian. But Albania was not our choice. The UNH, UNHCR choice this country and transport us from the Iraq to here. Here was not our choice. If Albanian government, okay, any contract has with the Mujahideen, okay, congratulations. It's not our business, okay. But the UNHCR, Albanian government should say to the UNHCR, okay, we don't accept and, and not illegally buy the car at the midnight, very dangerous way, put us in the grace. It's a criminal. They shouldn't, they couldn't do this, okay. Mariam Rajab, we have a good relationship, lovely relationship with the America, Israel, or any things. Okay, it's not our business. Okay, congratulations. But here was not our choice. Okay, Albanian government, if it doesn't want illegally, should say to the UNHCR, okay, Hassan Iran or another government, or any person who come out of this should find another country. And uh, UNHCR have a responsibility about us. But it's a very, um, our wife or our uh, asylum members had gone to refer to the uh, UNHCR, but unfortunately, they didn't accept it. They didn't answer anything yet. Have you, have you contacted the UNHCR? Yes, unfortunately, Mr. Rahman Mohammed <coughs> and another guy some days ago had gone, and the chef of the UNHCR told us, uh, told him, them, uh, no, the um, the file of the Ashraf is closed and we don't intercom and all things is with you and Albanian government is not our business. But on the base of the first contract when we were in Iraq, Albania was the temporary place for us to go to another country. When we came here, no Jahedin by the politics, by the anything that you know, they put us all of the person here and make a new prison like Ashraf in Iraq in the malls near us and put all of the person there. And they want to make a new condition out of the camp of malls. Nobody cannot go out. 
just chose the inside the camp like Saddam Hussein time in Iraq. And it's a very, very shameful. Very, very shameful. It, it is such a horrible uh, story what is happening with Iranians in Albania because you guys, uh, uh, Albanian government is supporting an, a terrorist organization, the Mujahideens. And unfortunately, for you to survive in Albania, you have two options. Option number one is to stay with uh, Mariam Rajavi and do terrorism and, and, and stay in this prison of, of Manza, which is the paramilitary camp of the Mujahideens. And option number two is what is happening with you now, that they have locked you in this concentration camp of carrots without doing any crime. You have no right even to appeal. I mean, because if you were to be criminals, at least you could go to a judge, you will go in for a prosecutor is going to interrogate you and then uh, the government will either find you guilty or, 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 or innocent. But in your case, uh, what our government is doing, it is breaking every possible law of Albania. Moreover, our government is not is even ignoring uh, uh, the uh, asylum that the United Nations uh, and Albanian government gave to you. And moreover, many of you have valid uh, uh, asylum papers because when you guys were put under administrative detention, I happened to see uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the residency card of one of your guys, his name is Mehdi, and his residence expires in 2025. Yes. But what the Albanian government has done, they have taken mm. you out from your homes. Yeah. You are married. You have wives. You have children. Uh, you have work. You pay taxes to the Albanian government. And the only crime that you have done is that Mariam Rajabi hates you because you have abandoned her uh, holy war against Iran. Because yes. you, you because you reject war, because you reject violence, because you don't want to go and kill people in, in Iran, but you want to live a peaceful life. What our government is doing, the most criminal thing ever heard in the history of Albania, it is sending you to a concentration camp. It is sending you in this detention center of Karets, where you are not allowed to go out you are not allowed to have even meetings with your wives. Huh? Uh, Hassan, you are not allowed to meet your wife. Am I right? Yes. So you are not allowed. Yes. To, you, and moreover, Albanian government, since your coming to Albania in 2016, has, yes. not, uh, has not allowed any of your family members to come and yes. visit you. And now, in a criminal manner, our government is separating you from your wives and children. This is yes. horrible what is happening. Yes. For your information, they told us, no, we don't recognize your wife on the basis of Albanian law. Um, we had gone before for register when I married with my wife, but the government doesn't accept. No, you don't have passport or anything. Okay, or ID card. Just we had gone to the church and for them. And but Albania, no, we don't accept. Uh, how can I understand? Uh, how should I understand? Uh, he is your wife. I told him, close your mouth. Why you told me this very, very peace and very bad word? My wife is pregnant. You don't shame from this word. Who are you? For who you are working to tell me to say, and not me, to another person. And all things is a problem in Albanian make. The problem, the big mistake, is that the Albanian government doesn't know anything about the ideology of the MiG. They are thinking we are dangerous. The source of dangerous and dangerous full group in the world, now in the Albania in the months, but you are th thinking about us uh, on the base of the ideology of the Mujahideen. Any person who come out from the MiG, in fact, he put his leg on the ballot of the marcher of the Mujahideen. When we were in the MiG, all the members should swear to their leader, Masud Rejavi, about the uh, divorcing forever. 
the eternal talaq ala tawam divorcing forever for example the with effect from the mujahidin and married and it's a very very big uh problem mujahidin cannot tolerate on the basis of their ideology and they are revengeous and they want to expel us from country and make a rock condition on the time of the satnam for the albania horrible horrible uh, hassan uh, <clears throat> i have followed uh, your your stories of uh, iranian defectors uh, since uh, probably 2018 when uh, in Albania we had the Canadian family, the family of, uh, yes. of Sumay Mohammedi, who came to meet their daughter. Uh, their daughter, who was a Canadian resident, she was a student from uh, a topical collegiate institute in Toronto. She was abducted by the Mujahideen when she was a teenager, and she is still kept uh, as a slave soldier yes. inside the Mujahideen camp. Uh, I mean, uh, people who study uh, history of uh, the, the histories of uh, Iranians of uh, who are with the Mac is 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 shocked, is horrified by by the stories that someone hears. And in 2019, uh, we have together followed the history of Hassan Herani, uh, sorry, of uh, Ehsan Bidi, Ehsan Bidi, uh, who was a critic of uh, Mariam Rajavi. He was imprisoned for two years by uh, Albanian police. More than the, two years, yes. More, more than two years in this Karets concentration camp. And the only reason for his uh, imprisonment was because he was critical to, to Rajavi. Uh, yes. But our government didn't send him to court. They simply grabbed him from the street and put him in administrative detention. And then we had the tragical history of uh, uh, Esam Bidi. When our uh, government, in the time we had Sandor Leshai as uh, Minister of Interior, they wanted to traffic him to Greece. Now, uh, when you guys were abducted from your homes on 8 November 2022, I heard from, from your wives and your relatives that uh, Albanian police told you that if you are ready, they will send you to Greece. Can you explain something more? What was the story about? About the SMBD? No, about your story when Albanian police yeah. were telling you. Uh, from when we came here, uh, near eight or nine person every week, every some days at the midnight, they keep them, the police of here keep them in uh, directly uh, transport to the uh, Greece border, border of Greece, and go in the land of the you know, five kilometers and put them in the Greece. And we are here, we are afraid. We don't know what should we do. If one night they come here and put us in the car and illegally put us in the Greece, it's a very dangerous food for that way. My wife is here, my wife is pregnant, I have a home, and home and car and office and a lot of things. Can you image one person suddenly keep him from his life and put and put in another country? Uh, Did you Hassan, see? Uh, so uh, I heard at the beginning that some police officers were telling you in this current camp that if you guys agree they were going to send you to Greece. Is this true? No, they didn't tell us, they didn't ask us, are you uh, angry we uh, send you to Greece? No, very, very strongly by the very bad behavior, your time is over, we expel you for a year and some things and doesn't, uh, asking us about we are satisfied or not satisfied. No, 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 no. They, okay. The time is over. We Two very po important points. Your time is over because we have a new contract with the MEC. Any person who come out of the, I told him after seven years, my time is over. No, you have a bad uh, activity. In the other hand, we have a new contract with the MEC. Any person who come out of the MEC, 
should go, uh, we don't recognize here, and should leave this country. Who, who told you that? Uh, the officer that six months ago, the spot come and uh, check all, all okay. Okay. So, office. So, 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 th so these people are from a counter terrorism police. Do yes, you know, yes. Do, do, do you know their name? I don't know, but um, uh, they ask, uh, they call each other by the another name. It's uh, normal in the, all of the country, the secret service person officer. They doesn't use the real name. All right, Hassan. It was very interesting talking to you. I hope uh, that our viewers throughout the world will uh, uh, understand the horrible situation that uh, you uh, uh, stateless Iranians in Albania are suffering at this moment. Uh, friends from all over the world uh, during the past uh, few weeks, the Albanian government has uh, uh, abducted and put in a, a, a detention center six Iranians, uh, ethnic Iranians who are stateless people. They have been member of the Mujahideen, but they have deserted from this organization. On the other hand, uh, the Albanian government uh, uh, jailed as a terrorist another Iranian a few few days ago. His name was uh, Bijan Poldrag, if I'm not wrong, without proving anything why this person was a terrorist. and. Um, uh, uh, just two days ago, the Albanian government has also <laughs> arrested another Iranian uh, who brought some uh, medicine, I'm told, to the Iranians who are in the uh, Karets concentration camp, and they accused him of, of trying to smuggle drugs. Uh, what is happening in uh, Albania is that there is a big uh, uh, manhunt uh, by the Albanian government against any Iranian who doesn't belong to the Mujahideen. Hassan, yeah. you want to say something? Uh, for the first person, we don't know him. He was the member of the MIG who take a salary every month from the MIG. Uh, he wasn't the member of the Asila or anything. And I didn't know him before. Yes, I heard he uh, the court of the Albania put him uh, prison. You, 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 mean, about, you, you, mean, you mean about Bijan? Who was, uh, yes, we don't was, know him. He wasn't uh, the member of the Asila, and he was the member of the MIG who take a salary every month from the MIG. And not yet. It but showed the, the MIG doesn't want the revenge us, just us. Even revenge, uh, revenge, any person who defector from the MIG, even he support the MIG or sympathize the MIG. And another person, he, it was a very simple things. Uh, Olam Reza Shikari has a sciatic and uh, uh, here the doctor doesn't give us the you know, medicine, just Mr. Dashami should buy medicine bring us here. And uh, Olam Reza Shikari had a, have a sciatic and uh, his wife put his uh, medicine and bring here, but the police take from his wife but didn't give him. Uh, he said the way to, to torture us. Um, here is very so cold. You see me. Uh, he here really cold without any engrossing or any heater. You, you, so you don't have heating there. No, 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 no. All right. Just All right. I sleep by overcoat and the uh, head a couple. Oh and God. and after one day, two day, the Mehdi and other guys, uh, he has a problem in the back. He uh, he has he need a medicine. On the base of the experience of the Bolamza Shekari, who give the medicine to the police, he buy from the Kamsa pharmacy, drug store, uh, medicine, and for that way he put in the shaker uh, for that. Just a very very easy mistake. The police make a very big propaganda about the intercom drug in the Kams to. Give to the another various wow, we surprised about the, what happened in the media. Okay, so Hassan, so Hassan, let me explain to our viewers. Uh, uh, two days ago, uh, dear viewers, uh, one Iranian with the name Musa 
went to the detention center where other Iranians are, and mm. he he sent he, he he sent some medicine to his friends. Like Hassan, medicine, not uh, medicine, yes. Uh, like Hassan is explaining, uh, the prison guards in this concentration camp do not allow people like Hassan and other Iranians to take medicine. Uh, Mehdi, they, Mehdi, Mehdi. Uh, yes, yeah, Mehdi. Now, uh, number one, what Albanian government is doing has illegally detained these people. Their only crime is because they don't want to do terrorism for Mariam Rajavi. Has put them in a in a concentration camp where they have no heating. You can see how and what Hassan is wearing. They don't have heating. They are freezing to death. It's very cold in Albania. It is winter. And number three, many of them are sick or are developing uh, many kind yeah. of disease. And Albanian government is not providing them with medicine. And when their family members bring them medicine, number uh, no, no, hold on. Uh, the, the case of the Golam Shakari that Hassan mentioned, uh, Albanian police have not allowed <laughs> the medicine to be delivered to them. And, yeah. and and then two days ago, we had a guy by name Musa who put, Musa for who put, the Mehdi. Who, uh, hold on, hold on. Who went to a pharmacy, bought a medicine, put this medicine inside of a of a sugar pack, and now yeah. the Albanian police and anti-terror, uh, the counter-terrorism police and the prosecutors have arrested oh. this Musa, have sent yes. him, uh, are keeping him in jail are accusing him of smuggling drugs. Why? Yes. Because he sent medicine to his Iranian friends. I want the international community to understand what counter-terrorism police of Albania are doing against these people. These people have been put oh. in, a, in a concentration camp. These people are getting sick. These people are not delivered enough food, but their families have to buy food in order for them to eat. These people are not allowed to get uh, medicine. These people are being kept in the cold. And these people are refugees. They are stateless <coughs> people who came to Albania. And because they do not want to become suicide bombers, for United States and Israel yeah. and, and to go and kill people in Iran. They want to live a civilian life. They are being condemned to death. This is what is happening in Albania. Yes, Hassan. the wife of Colum Reza put the medicine for the sciatic, the leg of the Colum Reza, sciatic, put in the uh, chisa plastic with the letter of the doctor and the letter of the pharmacy in the drugstore. And very respectfully give to the police, it's a letter. And Qolam Reza need to the, need to the police, police. My friend, excuse me one moment. Uh, no, no, Hassan, 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 no problem. Friends, as, as you can understand it, uh, this is what happens in a prison cell. There are even other prisoners in this cell and they play music or do other things. Yes, Hassan, you can continue, please. Excuse me. Um, after that, after that, what happened? Excuse me. Yeah, tell me. After that, what happened? After that, after that, uh, on the basis of this experience, the police take a medicine and doesn't give to Olam Reza. Musa wants, because Mehdi Soleimani had a lot of problem, because when he was in the MiG, uh, because he was a slave and uh, a lot of very hard working, he has a, uh, a tondo in his bag is tear, <coughs> and he needs a medicine. For that why Musa, wants to receive this medicine to Mehdi and put in the shaker by the factor factor of the drugstore pharmacy and by the pocket. It wasn't the illegally. And they make a very big problem and a lot of things in the media be surprised here. 
And even the police are very surprised. Some police are a good police. They told us, Shum Juna, no kish de mino, by the Indian okay. language. Hassan, thank you very much for this interview. I hope uh, you, I hope you'll have uh, your phone with uh, you in the future so that I can yeah. interview you again. So yes, I am sure they take, they will uh, take they, I, I, I know I know they take your phones, they isolate you, they don't let you to communicate to the outside world. They told yeah. you that they want to expel you from Albania because you have spoken to the BBC. This is the criminal regime of Edi Rama, uh, a, a criminal, a, a drug addict, uh, a person who supports a terrorist uh, cult of Mariam Rajavi, who is sending you Iranians to this concentration camp of Manza, who is not allowing you to get medicines, who is not allowing you to go to courts. And the only crime that you have committed is that <coughs> you don't want to do a dirty jihad for Mariam Rajavi. Hassan, thank you very much. Please, you are in the prayers of millions of people around the world. You are a hero, Hassan. Don't uh, lose the hope. And uh, something else, don't be afraid from uh, no. what our government is doing to you. There are thousands of people around the world that are going to fight yeah. for your freedom and justice. Hassan, we'll be in touch, inshallah, again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Thank you very much, Doctor. Good afternoon.